Hey guys, we are getting ready to cook Christmas Day dinner uh, for, it's just Bob and I, and we are going to take the uh, advantage of the fact that it's just the two of us to experiment with some new recipes, and we're going to try Beef Wellington. So, Fred's going to have some eggnog. No, I'm going to have some wine. You're going to have wine. Okay, he's going to have wine. We're going to try cooking some beef. Oh, wait. Hey. Um, we're going to try making some beef wellington. As usual, my job is going to be chopping all the vegetables, and he's going to do the hard stuff. So, we'll see how it goes. You ready? All right. Let's go. We need salt and pepper on this guy. Uh, not this one. Where's the garlic salt? Okay. Let me move this over here. Makes my chopping job easier. I should say we're using a couple of different recipes. Yep. We're using a couple of different recipes. One is from uh, the Tasty website. And it's called Showstopping Beef Wellington. And the other one is Gordon Ramsay's um, Beef Wellington um, recipe. So we're using a combination of the two to make dinner tonight. Okay. What else goes with the mushroom? Just the mushrooms and. Mushrooms are thought thyme? To the. Uh, uh, butter, mushrooms, shallot, and garlic. Shallot and garlic. Yeah, these so. Guys. Butter to the pan, but I need to. I need to. Well, we can use the same pan as the other one, as the beef. Yeah, I'm gonna just, but I'm gonna mix the garlic and mushrooms together, and then I'll squirt some garlic in. We forgot to buy garlic, so the we're shallots. using the garlic in the tube. Oops. That's okay. That's all right. Good stuff. Works. With a nice meal, you have a uh, Manhattan. I'm not gonna have Manhattan. I'm gonna have a um, JD Coke. Manhattan. Shades of your parents, Manhattan. I have Manhattan. <laughs> and I'll use a Jack Daniel's glass. I think I need to do at least three of these with this many mushrooms. All right, got to mix the shit out of it. Yeah, I'm gonna just. That's why we got the food processor out because it's easier than yep. doing it by hand. So should I start? I've got the appliance. I might as well use it. Just start cooking me. Sure. You gotta sear all the. Sides and the edges and three minutes per side. Yep. <laughs> Try not to cough I these or, or I can fry. smell that from here. Yeah, these are strong, man. Wow. <laughs> that is strong and pungent. Yeah. So we'll make sure to link the recipes in the description below for you all in case you want to give it a try. I say that now, it might turn out terrible, so maybe you don't want to try, but you know. It ain't going to turn out terrible. We'll find out. I'm going to put it on. If I cook, it's going to turn out good. Fred cooks, it turns out good. You know. It turns out good. We're also going to make some steamed broccoli and garlic mashed potatoes. And this morning I made. Um, Oh, my eyes are watering. Biscuits from scratch. Made a big old giant mess doing it. I will insert said clip of me making biscuits here, right here, with some music.
And the biscuits. Viola were biscuits. Biscuits. The biscuits were a Paula Deen recipe. So I'll link that in the description below too. Whoa! Hey, watch it. Up go the weasel. Do we need to get footage of your meat? Your popping weasel? That sounded bad. I didn't mean it that way. The food processor doesn't work if it's not plugged in. My part is done. It was easy. <laughs> you know what you got to do? Yeah. That's all you're doing? Mushroom, salad, some garlic, and some thyme in the food processor. We're done. Well, I have to cook it. Cook it. Got to cook all the water out of it. With my mustard. <laughs> so Fred thought it would be funny if we do all this trouble with the meat, and then we're gonna do <laughs> we're gonna do box mashed potatoes. We're not doing the mashed potatoes from scratch. Not this time. Okay. It's all right, mostly just because it's just the two of us, so nobody cares if the mashed potatoes are from scratch or not. So. You know it's fun when you have to read the recipe directions like three, four times to get it right, and you still don't think you have it right? Right. I agree. Anyway, he's finishing searing the meat, then we're going to take, the, take it out of the pan, take the strings off of it because it's tied together. Spread it with the mustard. He mixed two. To, we didn't have English mustard. I know it's a shocker to all of you who know that Fred loves condiments, especially mustard, but we don't have English mustard. So he spread um, spicy brown mustard together with uh, ball, uh, Bertman Original Ballpark Mustard. Cleveland's famous. I don't know. This one. With this one. We don't have English mustard. They're probably both the wrong kind of mustard, but it's what we uh, well we have a lot of them. It's what he picked. So he mixed them together. We'll spread that on the meat and we'll let it rest and cool while we're working on um, the mush, cooking up the mushroom mixture and um, getting the water out of it, basically. There we go. Okay. Nicely little brown piece of meat. down a layer of, of the prosciutto, then the um, mushrooms. mushrooms, and then we put that on top and we roll it. Do the mushrooms have to be cool? Yes. Doesn't prosciutto just drive you crazy? Yeah, it does. It's forcing the bad stuff. It's worse than trying to pull your panty hose up when you have too many alcoholic drinks. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> it is, trust me. It just wants to stick to itself, it doesn't want to cooperate. So I'm over here with the mushrooms. I'm just cooking them for medium heat until they get dark and thick. Right? Cook the crap out of them. Cook the crap out of them. I got it. I can do that. Meanwhile, he's fighting with the prosciutto. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of. Kind of, yeah. It's prosciutto. It's thin and uncooperative. What's that? Once it's wrapped with the dough and everything, then we chill it? You chill before and after. Okay. Fresh mustard on all sides of the meat. While it's still warm, let the meat rest while making the mushrooms until dry.
the same pan add butter mushrooms, shallot, minced garlic, medium heat cook, stir occasionally until all liquid evaporates and mushroom mixture becomes thick 25 to 30 minutes, like dry paste. Remove mushrooms from pan and let cool. Place a large layer of overlapping sheets of plastic wrap on your work surface and that is twice the length of the tent, of the length and width of the tenloin. The overlapping strips of prosciutto on the plastic. Spread the layer evenly, tighten. Yep. I got a joke. I don't know what's worse. Waiting for water to boil or waiting for mushrooms to cook? It'll take a long time. Low and slow, I think. So this is going to be pretty funny. I'm getting ready to make the red wine sauce as soon as he's done with the mushrooms. Um, our niece and her husband, Katie and Brendan, gave us some wine for Christmas. Brendan's A friend of Brendan's evidently makes wine. And so we have this. It is no name red. At least I think it's red. I don't know what it, I don't know. So we're going to make the sauce with it. Hopefully the wine doesn't suck. So we'll see. We'll be back. Okay, I'm going to admit I don't drink anymore, not often anyway. I don't drink any less either. No. Um... I can't tell. I can't decide if it smells good or smells like vinegar. I, I, I'm gonna have to taste a little bit. Yeah, I need a glass. I need to know what I'm cooking with. Use one of Grandma Jenny's glasses. It's definitely red. It smells like red wine. Has some bitter after notes. Is that a thing? But it's not bad. I think it'll make good sauce. You want to try it? Sure. You can have Fred try it. It's a little bitter. It's a little bitter. It's yeah, a little so bit on the bitter side, but I think yeah. it'll make a good sauce. If I was still drinking, um, this is the kind of red wine I, I actually like it. Like my coffee, really dark and really bitter. So, not Fred's favorite. He likes sweeter wines. Fred's over there off camera. He's playing with his mushrooms, mm -hmm. trying to get them to cool off. That's right. Drinking a Jack and Coke. You need a new one, Fred. It's empty. I know. I'll have to have another one. I'm working on this sauce. Red wine sauce? Is that what it's called? So I want to ask you all, what do you think about it doing a cooking with Fred and his kid? Because it turns out our daughter's actually not a bad cook. In fact, she's kind of a good cook. I'm wondering if we can get her on camera cooking dinner. Mm, there you go. Right? Right. I think it's a good idea. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments below. So Fred's Schmier. got the mushrooms just about cool in your smearing. I'm smearing the mushrooms. Onto the prosciutto. Onto the prosciutto. A thin layer of schmear. Mushroom schmear. Mushroom schmear. That I'm sure is going to taste good, but i got to say what the people are probably thinking. Sort of looks like poop. Yeah, kind of looks like poop. Yeah. I'm sure it'll taste good, but yeah, there's that. The, mean the consistency of spackle. <laughs> That's it. You're going to spackle the prosciutto. I'm spackling the schmear <laughs> the sh on prosciutto. Holy cow. In the meantime, we're boiling the crap out of the red wine and stuff over here, getting ready to make our red wine sauce. So there's that. Got that going for us. Yep. All right, we'll be back. You want to say that on camera, Fred? I said uh, so. I'm smearing all the um, all the 
mushrooms on the prosciutto, and I'm sure that, you know, if I do anything wrong, your friend Vicky? Vicky, yeah, Vicky, Vicky Brown. Vicky Brown, I'm sure she'll put comments in there saying, you did this wrong, you did this wrong. <laughs> For those of you who are YouTube fans, she has a channel here on YouTube that has nothing to do with cooking uh, called Messy Table Studios, but fun fact, she's a retired chef. And I'm sure we are doing a whole bunch of stuff wrong. I'm sure we are, but that's okay. It's, you know, we've never made this before, so we're not professional cooks. So, you know, there's that. We got our schmear. You waiting for me to... Yeah, you gonna... Jeez. See what happens. Yeah. You took all this string off, right? I don't want to bite of into course. a piece of string. Of course I don't know what would be worse. Vicky telling you you're doing it wrong or Gordon Ramsay yelling at you? Uh, Gordon Ramsay yelling at you would be a lot worse. Probably, yeah. Especially because I'd get fired right away. I'd probably yell back. So that would get me in trouble. That's right. Even if he was right and I was wrong, I'd still yell back. Okay. Look at that. Alrighty. Alright, it goes in the fridge for 15 minutes. Okay, meanwhile we'll work on the sauce and maybe try to clean up some of the mess in the kitchen. And yeah, the puff pastry. Yep. And nice job. Put that, wrapping that up like that. You, you did a great job wrapping that up. Job. I yeah, would I probably have flung meat and mushrooms and mustard all over the kitchen. Yeah. But you did a good job. So the meat is chilling, the sauce is reducing, and yeah. Puff pastry's ready. Yeah, puff pastry. There we go. So. You got the egg wash. You got that. Yeah. Why don't we, we wrap it up again and then we. Put it back in the fridge for another 15 minutes. Yeah, and Fred might want to decorate the top, so we'll, I might. we'll make sure to get some get footage of that. It a little bit, put some crisscross. Cut criss some little leaves or it. something, yeah. Yeah, maybe. The freaking ring has gone off so much today. I got to tell you, we have a ring security system. That chiming in the background, if you're hearing that, is the ring. Most of the time today, it has been the deer, but I saw the trash pandas on there a little while ago, so it, evidently they're out now. So, yeah. And if you don't know what a trash panda is, a raccoon. Trash panda. Yeah. All right, I'll be back. Yeah, that's probably the one you want. That's what I was you know, we've, we've been here a year, and we put everything away. There's a problem with that. We can't find anything. <laughs> we, don't know, we don't know where anything goes. It's okay. You can say shit. My channel is 18 plus. It's 18 plus. Yeah, uh, I'm demonetized. Should be like 25 plus. Yeah. All right, Fred. Let's see you wrap your meat. And no, we didn't make puff pastry, people. We bought it in the refrigerator section. Yep. Like, hello. Refrigerator. I know, again, Gordon Ramsay, if you're watching, which you're probably not, but if you are, you're horrified. I'm sorry. Want to get rid of any overlap? You could use the extra bits for the ends if they don't cover. Absolutely. Okay. Well, there you go. There's our beef wellington. Goes back in the fridge. Yep, for about another 15 minutes. Put the oven on, preheat it. Yep. What temperature, Fred? 400. For how long do we cook it? 40 minutes. Cool. While it's cooking, we can keep reducing and cook the potatoes and veg. Yep. Sounds good to me. Okay, here we have our chilled beef wellington. Looks like a giant... Burrito. Yeah, giant I was going to say a corn dog without the stick. A giant burrito to me. He's just using a fork to score some lines. Which again, my friend Vicki Brown or Gordon Ramsay, I know we're doing it wrong. Be gentle in your criticism, please. Yeah, uh, Gordon Ramsay said, oh, use the back of a fork. Or oh, use the back of your knife. Yeah. Well, this thing's kind of gooey, so. Let's do this, I guess. Doesn't matter. 
kind of look. It's kind of tastes awesome. I know it. Okay, I got that. It may be ugly, but it'll taste good. So, fun good. fact: Bob and I have had the real, authentic Gordon Ramsay beef Wellington for my birthday at his restaurant in Las Vegas. So we know what it's supposed to taste like. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens. Hey, the oven's that on. That means ready. the oven's ready. Perfect time. We got some holly balls. Holly balls. <laughs> How about berries, dear? Oh, berries. I mean, I know we're berries. already demonetized, but you know. Got some berries. Are we supposed to put water on the back of those so they stick? Don't know, dear. Yeah, I'm not okay. sure. I don't know. I haven't cooked enough with puff pastry to tell you. It's Bob's Free Abstract Expressive Christmas Beef Wellington. Yeah. His artistic expression of Beef Wellington. Okay. I'm going to slab, lather, slab, a bunch of this stuff on it. Um, it's beaten eggs. Then we're gonna pop it in the oven, do a little cleanup, and work on the potatoes and the veggies. While the sauce is on the very back burner doing its thing, slowly reducing. And yes, if you hear that gurgling, I've already got the dishwasher running because we've already filled it up already. We're kind of messy cooks, just FYI. In case you haven't figured that out yet. And if you haven't figured that out yet, where have you been? <laughs> Cooking is messy business. Okay, that's what, that's what happens. All right, 400 degrees for what, 30, 40 minutes? 40 minutes. 40 minutes. <clears throat> okay, so we've got 10 minutes left. 10 minutes, 10 minutes. left. So we're gonna cook the veggies and the potatoes. The sauce is done. Sauce is done. Meat's cooking. Meat's cooking. I'm excited. Ooh. We just took a peek. It looks good. Hopefully it's uh, done enough inside. Maybe we should put it in there for another 10 minutes or so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but we'll it's got 10 it. minutes left. We'll check it out. We'll work it out. We'll be back. Okay, I think Fred's meat is done. The meat's done. There it is. How pretty is it? Let's get a close up of that. Shall get a good we? close up of that, dear. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. That's a beef Wellington, medium rare, and it's just the two of us. So and I'll get this. this yeah, this is my hand, and that's the size that I think it's. It's like a football. We're going to be eating beef Wellington for days. For days. For days, for Fred. Days. Yeah. But it came out good, huh? We said we were going to make a little one. I think we didn't make a little one. We made. Yeah, a... I should. We should have gotten those little, just those little individual um, fillets. Yeah, yeah, little tiny, ones. little tiny ones, uh, individual ones. Big, that's okay. Giant. That's all right. What do you think? I think it looks good. Looks very yummy. It's got uh, holly. It's got balls. <laughs> yeah. Balls look good. Yeah. Then it was about 140 degrees in there, so cool. that's medium rare. Cool. So I shall go ahead and cut it up. So we're going to have dinner, and we will get you a shot when it's all plated, and we'll be right back. It's on. There we go. There you so go. we're going to have Christmas dinner, mm -hmm. our beef wellington. I'll get you some shots of the dinner <coughs> plated, but we hope you all have had a very Merry Christmas. By the time you see this, it'll be over, but we hope you've had a good one. Yep. We have had a fun time, and we've enjoyed the YouTube channel, and... Uh, where are you? There you are, Fred. I'm right here. We've Fred's enjoyed right the YouTube channel and bringing you all cooking with Fred. Let, let us know what you think in the comments below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And what would you like to see in the new year? Do you want to see cooking with Fred and his kid? Because I think that might be interesting. Yeah. We can do that. Might be fun. All right. That's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Have a Merry Christmas, and we'll see you later. Bye, guys. Bye.